Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a real and a fake pair of Nike Air Jordan 1 Lows in the Zion Williamson Voodoo colorway. I'll also be pointing out the differences between the two pairs so that when you're looking to buy a pair for yourself, hopefully you can avoid buying a fake pair with the belief that they're actually a real pair. So with that said, let's start the video. So the first thing that you'll notice is that the real pair on the left come in this Nike box. If we just take a look at that, you can see that this box is the standard box that most pairs of Nike Air Jordan 1s come in. So this black uh, box with the red Nike swoosh on the top and all the other sides of the box. On the back end of it as well, it also has this print here where it says 1985 Air Jordan 1 and a bit of text there. And if we take a look at the size label, you can see that this here is the product code for this colorway. So if you have these shoes in this exact colorway, this is Zion Williamson Voodoo colorway, and the product code is any different to that there, then it could be a giveaway that they're fake, unless the seller can pr prove that the box they put them in was a different box to the original. If we take a look at the fake pair now, however, you'll see that they simply came in this bubble wrap. Uh, this is quite common for a lot of fake pairs I've seen. They normally come in this bubble wrap or a plastic bag with a night uh, print on it, but... Uh, again, assume if it comes in anything like this, it's fake, unless the seller can prove that they've taken them out of the box for whatever reason, uh, if they didn't have the original box or whatever, and have wrapped them in this. But if it comes in this packaging, then assume straight away that they're fake. Also, if we just open up the box on the real pair, so you can see what the uh, additional wrapping is inside, it's just tissue paper like this around the shoes. So um, again, you need to make sure that this is present in the box because a lot of fake pairs that do come with a box might have no tissue paper present or they might have a different material. Uh, but this here, if you can just see that up close, that is all that you should see wrapped around the shoes inside the box on any real pairs. So taking the shoes out of the box now, keeping the real pair on the left and the fake pair on the right. The first thing you'll notice is that they both come with the spare laces here. So this pair come with a white pair of rope laces by standard but a spare pair of grey rope laces in a bag. And on the real pair, the spare laces are attached to the left shoe, whereas on the fake pair, they're attached to the right shoe. Also on the bag on the fake pair, you can see that there's a red line that runs across the top of the bag. I don't know if this will be the same with all fake pairs, but certainly for this pair, here it is. Whereas on the real pair, the bag is completely clear and there is no red line across the top of the uh, bag there. So just another little thing for you to look out for. If we take a look at the tongue of the shoe now, you'll see that it has this Nike Air text at the top flipped upside down. So if I just show you that from that angle there, you'll see that the bottom of the Nike Air text fits right in with the top of the tongue. So there's no space uh, here underneath towards the top of the tongue. Whereas if we look at the fake pair, it has this same tab with Nike Air printed upside down, but there's a big gap underneath the Nike Air uh, towards the top of the tongue. So I'll just put those side by side. This is what we're looking for here on the left. This is what all real pairs should have, no space underneath, whereas a lot of fake pairs will have this space underneath and also the tab might be a lot bigger as it is here. You can see that tab goes on quite a bit further down than it does on the real pair. Uh, also, the Nike Air text itself is stitched a lot tidier on the real pair, as you can see there, than it is on the fake pair. So if I just put those side by side, you can see that the quality of the stitching on this pair here is quite a bit better than the uh, stitching on the fake pair. So uh, another thing for you to look out for there when checking if a pair is real or fake. Another thing that I notice is that if we pick up the right shoe on the real one, there is one, two, three, four, five, six bits of white stitching on the instep here. And that is the same on the fake pair, if I just pulled it up as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six uh, bits of white stitching on the instep there. But if we look at the left shoe for both pairs, it has the same bit of stitching on the outside of the shoe. So on the real one, you will see that there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bits of white stitching on the outstep. Whereas on the fake one, it still carries on the same as the other shoe and has one, two, three, four, five, six bits of white stitching. So just so you're clear on that, the right shoe on both pairs has the six bits of white stitch in there, as you can see. But if we look at the real pair on the left shoe, you can see that there is seven bits of stitching on the outside here, which doesn't match up to the fake pair as this has six bits of stitching again, the same as it does on the right shoe. 
Following on from that, you can see that there is also a similar issue with the lace holes. So on the real pair here, this bottom part of material has one, two, three lace holes, and this top part of material here has four lace holes. So you can see that's the same on both sides there and on both shoes for the real pair. So three at the bottom, four at the top. Whereas on the fake pair, the bottom part has three lace holes here, but then there is actually five lace holes on this top part of material. So that is actually different to the real pair, and you can see that on both pairs of uh, the fake shoes here. So five at the top, three at the bottom, uh, five at the top, three at the bottom. And on the real pair that I've got here, there is only four lace holes at the top and three lace holes at the bottom. So another thing to look out for there. Another thing that is slightly different is the colour of the stitching on the two pairs. So if we look at the real one here, you'll see that you have this light brown sort of uh, meshy material at the bottom of the shoe. And you have a reverse Nike swoosh in a dark brown colour. And if we look at the back where the dark brown swoosh is, you'll see there's three bits of material going across in black stitching. If we take a look at the fake pair now, however, you'll see that that reverse swoosh on the tongue is actually black. Uh, it's also positioned slightly different, as you can see there. And also, the stitching that goes across the larger swoosh at the back is dark brown. So it's the same colour as the swoosh here. So if I just put those side by side, you can see that the real pair here has three bits of black stitching going across the larger swoosh and a dark brown reverse swoosh at the toe end of the uh, shoe. Whereas on the fake pair, it has dark brown stitching going across the larger swoosh and a black night swoosh towards the bottom end of the toe. If we take a look at the heels of the shoe now, you'll see that on the real pair, the heel is very rounded and a smooth shape. Whereas on the fake pair, it's slightly misshapen and looks almost crushed. So uh, not just on, on this colorway here, but on all Air Jordan 1 lows, you'll want to see a heel that is this shape here. Uh, and if it's anything different like this, then uh, that's normally a telltale sign of a fake pair. So just keep an eye out for that there when looking at the heel on the shoe. Also, if we peel back the heel, so if we just start with the real one. On the left shoe, it has this uh, voodoo text here. And on the right shoe, it has a piece of Zion text underneath there. So you can just see that. Um, the material that is running across that bit of heel there is a very tidy bit of stitching in this brown uh, colour you can see there. If I should pull that back fully. And yeah, it looks exactly as you would expect a piece of stitching to look on a real pair. Whereas if we look at the fake pairs, it does have the same uh, text printed on the back. Uh, maybe not as, as nicely done, but if you look at this stitch in here, it's completely off. So it's very uh, grouped up towards the top. Um, and if we just look at the right shoe as well, this one's a little bit better, but it's still a bit of a gap at the top. So if we just take the left shoe of each, uh, this is what we're looking for, for the stitching to be like this. Very thin stitching and very tidy. Whereas on the fake pair or any other fake pairs you may have, the stitching may look like this. Also, you can see where the Nike swoosh meets, the back end of the Nike swoosh from each side of the shoe. Uh, it's completely level across here on the real pair. Whereas on this fake pair and a lot of other fake pairs, it doesn't connect properly. So it's a lot thicker on the instep than it is on the outstep. Uh, and yeah, it doesn't match up and, and connect properly as it would on the real pair here. So another couple of things to look out for there when putting the tab back on the heel. So if we look at the toe box, you'll see that there is this uh, cross stitching going across the toe itself. Uh, and on the real pair, this cross stitching is done quite tidy. Whereas on the fake pair, it's uh, a lot bigger and quite messy. So I'll just put those close to the camera there. Uh, also, you'll see that there's quite a bit of loose stitching on the toe of the fake pair, which uh, isn't present on the real pair, obviously. So if there is any loose stitching or bits like this across anywhere on the shoe, really, uh, assume that that means they could be fake because most real pairs I've seen will have some excess stitching every now and then, but not quite to the level that you see on the fake pairs. The fake pairs have it quite, uh, quite a lot of the time and 
across big parts of the shoe. So just another another bit of uh, information there, not just for these shoes themselves, but for all fakes in general, really. Finally, if we take a look at the insides of the shoe, you'll see that they've actually copied this quite well with the print on the insole. The only thing that I can see is different is that the print on the shoe here on the real pair is very central, whereas on the right pair, there's quite a bit of space on the left. So it's more pushed towards the right side, as you can see there. Um, as far as the size label though, everything is pretty much the same. Um, and the product code here, I can just get that zoomed in, matches up to the box obviously, because this is the real pair. Uh, and on the fake pair, they've actually got the correct product code here. So if the product code is any different, then assume that they're fake, definitely. Uh, but this fake pair here has actually copied the product code exactly. Uh, and again, on the left shoe, the insole has been copied quite well. Um, it's the same print, but on the real pair, it's a lot more central than it is on the fake pair, as you can see. So, yeah, just the uh, last few bits to look out for there when checking the inside of the shoe. So thanks for watching the video. If you could please like and subscribe, then that would help me greatly as it allows me to grow the channel and to make more videos like this. Also, if you do still have a pair of these and you are struggling to authenticate them, then please get in touch with me via the link in the description and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.